Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? It's your own boy, said Tom. Four and mar martial art, fitness and coach. What I'm going to talk to you about is that there was another YouTuber that I watched this morning. Um, the dude, the dude, he didn't make sense. Um, on what most martial art karate practitioners, some of them they can be overrated. But there are some with more experience, more better techniques, and everything else. That is understandable. But he was saying that martial artists have to be perfectly lean. You know, you cannot judge a person of their obesity or their weight when it comes to martial art training. I've been trying to lose this gut for so many years and I have not been able to lose it. I've tried so many diets, I've tried so many fat burning pills, I've tried, you know, um, a lot of different ab workouts um, to lose it. Um, yeah, I could build muscle there, um, but really I do have a six pack, but it's just that I don't have no ribs to hold my gut in. But it's like I said, everybody is built differently. And, you know, there are people out there that do practice martial arts. And they do really good at it. And everybody is built differently. It does not, you know, I have, I have club feet. I have two rods in my back. I have a bad knee. But sometimes it likes to pop out on me. But, and now I might have an arthritis in my right shoulder due to overtraining. But does that ever stop me from training and doing what I love doing? No, it don't. I still do my training. I still do my physical athletic stuff. But most people say, oh, you gotta be fit to be a coach. Oh, you gotta be, you know, you know, you gotta have that six pack abs. There are actors out there that, you know, in movies, like, look at Sam Alham. He's a heavy set man, he can maneuver around anybody like crazy in his movies. Um, uh, there have been numerous of people, look at sumo wrestlers, they're huge, they're big, <clears throat> but yet they do have martial art themselves. It's because you study a martial art does not mean you have to have a six pack on you. That means, you know, yes, to make better choices on what you put in your body. Make better choices to you know what you eat, what you drink, what you do to your body. You know it's not about having that six pack that most people claim. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had a six pack on me because I do all kinds of ab work. Even though my ab work is my weakness and, and my strength and my strength training because I hate doing abs, but I do many. And, but the thing of it is, I hate it when people say, you know, if you're not fit, you know, if you don't, if you don't have a six pack, you're not a martial artist. It doesn't matter if you are, or have a six pack or not. You're, you know, if you turn to any style of fighting, yeah, you're going to be a martial artist. You're going to be a martial artist no matter what. Because there are people out there, you know, don't have the genetics like some people. I know I don't have the genetics. And I'm not going to judge people either. But it don't give a right for somebody else to judge somebody else on their looks when it comes to training in martial arts. And to me, that dude is wrong. You know, you don't need to have a six-pack abs, you know, to be a martial artist. 
you know, you can learn in any way or form to be in the best shape. Shadow boxing, calisthenics, uh, bag work, weightlifting, change your dieting, diet up. So you eat junk food, eat healthy. So, the reason why I say, say those things, and make better choices, instead of like, smoking cigarettes, don't smoke. I mean, I can't really say, because I used to smoke, and did martial arts, but I hadn't smoked for three years, only one day out of the year, three years, I had a bad day, and I gave in, I had one pack, did I ever go back to him after that pack, no, I do get my cravings in a once in a while, just not all the time, so, I haven't really, I mean, I've quit, quit them all the way, so, it was just that one day out of the year, I broke down a bottle. Because I needed something to calm my nerves. But, really, technically, it didn't help. It was like, it wasn't for me. And, <laughs> and it wasn't for me at all. So, I ended up, after that pack was gone, I didn't go buy another one. So, it's okay to have a setback on one salon. As long as you just don't go back to it again. But it doesn't make you the right to call people fat. It don't make you the right to call them obese. It don't make you the right to make, say, people that, you know, that do train in martial arts that are overly, overly heavy weighted. It's not right to say they can't be martial artists because they are fat or heavy set, whatever you want to call it. It does not make a right to do that. Because what you're doing, you know, if you're saying that fat people can't do martial arts and Really, technically, are you saying handicapped people can't do martial arts either? That's just saying the same thing. But the thing of it is, martial art people need to treat people equally with utmost respect, no matter what type of body they didn't have. Is that most people claim that I'm handicapped because of my background on what I've went through, of all the surgeries. I don't go, I don't call it, I don't consider myself handicapped because I drive. I have a home that I come to. I work a 40 hour work week job. I'm always trying to be positive around other people. You know, I help them out with their problems and get them motivated to do things if they really want to do it. And then, also on top of it, you know, if people that are handicapped, you know, they come to me, you know, for advice, you know, hey, they say, hey, Seth, you know, I'm handicapped, you know, what can I do with the body I have? And you can do anything you want. The mind is a powerful weapon. It don't matter if you have a six pack or not, or if you're all that well physical bound. It don't matter if you don't have that genetics. As long as you're staying moving, staying active, staying fit, that's what counts. So, people on the internet, I want to say this. Don't say fat people or either obese people. They can't do martial arts or even handicaps. They can't do martial arts. They can. They don't have to have that perfect body. Because martial arts is about.
being one big family and treat other people with respect. Yes, it also helps you to make better choices and what you put in your body as well. So, if you ever want to be a martial artist, give up your bad habits. Give up your bad habits. And that's all I gotta say. And, you know, that'll make you a better martial artist. You know, it's okay, you know, to go out and drink it once in a while. But don't make it a habit. I mean, you can drink it once in a while. Go out and have fun once in a while with your friends. But, as like I said, do not make it a habit. <laughs> so, if you're, if you're one, uh, you know, if you say that people are fat, you know, people that have handicapped abilities saying that, oh, they got to be in top physical shape to be in martial arts. Otherwise, they can't do it. They're wrong. Anybody, I mean, anybody can do the martial arts if they have the mind, have the heart, have the spirit. And the dedication over the years of hardship, they can do martial arts. So, all you people out there that are saying fat people can't do martial arts, they can. Don't let them fool you. They can do it. It's like with bodybuilding. They can do it. They just got to have determination. Determination to do it. Same with handicaps. They can do anything they want once they put their mind to it. So, never underestimate a handicap or a heavy person or an obese person. Not so heavy, but still has a good arm. But still, don't underestimate them because you never know on what they're capable of. So, when it comes to training, train hard, train smart. Show people respect of their weight and everything and their ability with their body, physical ability with their body. But always be kind, be humble to one another. And most of all, be a martial art, fitness trainer, and coach online. Send me down for signing out. If you want to look me up on Instagram, look me up on Instagram. I'll try to help out as much as possible on your goals if you want to achieve them. So if you want to look, if you want to hit me up, hit me up on Instagram. (laughs) But don't set up a fake profile, you know, with another person's picture and say, hey, this is me, you know, whatever, some shit. I'm not going to fall for it. So, and that's the thing, you know, be real, don't be a fake. And people will like you more. And another thing, be yourself. Send me down a board. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe. Once again, hit that bell notification and hit all on the bell. And then you'll get every one of my videos. And I'll see you at the next video. Peace.